I'm Barbara Cleary. I teach English. I'm chair of the department, and I have been here. This is my 43rd year. When I first took this job, I was not in the market for a position. I was working on my dissertation, and Bob Fatherly, who was head, called me and said he wa wondered if I'd be interested in a part-time position. And I said, no, I wasn't. And he said, well, then why don't you just come over and visit the school? So I came over, and I sat in on Annabelle Cummings' class. And they had just finished a project in ancient history where they had built a papyrus boat and they had taken it out to the Mead Pond, and Annabelle what had been in it when it sunk. <laughs> it was such a great experience that I thought, mm, maybe I want to be part of this. So I accepted the, the job that year, even though I had a two-month-old baby and et cetera, et cetera, had a, my dissertation, other reasons not to come, but it obviously turned out to be a really good decision. The school was very, um, Creative. I think it was maintaining, as it still has to today, certain um, values and identifiable characteristics, including a lot of emphasis on, um, well, what we later called immersion. Um, one of my first experiences, actually, when I was here, I had been here maybe two weeks. I came in December because the teacher that I replaced had fled. <laughs> and I. We were starting Beowulf, and so I invited them to suggest projects. And Ricky Serban, who is now a famous goldsmith, um, and his team uh, wanted to paint a mural. And I thought, well, that would be fine, but I better get permission. I'm new in the school, and so on and so forth. Well, I needn't have bothered, because the Monday after, when I came into school, they had already come into the building admitted by um, Wallace and Florine Ollinger, the, the maintenance staff, and had painted Grendel, giant Grendel, on the wall in what is now Mr. Romeo's room. Um, and I was appalled because there was paint everywhere, and I thought, I will surely lose my job right this minute. But it was not to be. From the very beginning, there was the emphasis on diversity, on the things that we talk about as if they're new values, but they've always been there. Um, exper uh, experiential learning, um, interest in the outdoors, lots of things that have ma been maintained through the years were seeds in the ver from the very beginning days. Um, the variety, I've had an opportunity to teach lots of different things um, from gender studies to um, absurd li absurdist literature to immersions which have been of course amazing. Um, so it, it, no two days are alike and no two years are alike, so it's been a, a really challenging, wonderful experience. And if you had to give people who might be out there waffling back and forth as to whether they should come back and see us for the 50th, what would your argument be? I would say that the ties that you uh, had in, in the school with your with teachers, with classmates, with teammates, um, are perhaps more important to you than you realize, uh, and restoring those by seeing each other in person rather than just on Facebook or email or whatever you communicate with um, will be a really, really satisfying experience and I hope you'll pursue it. Come back. <laughs> 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 Is that the tagline? <laughs> Come home. Come home. <laughs>